Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. In this video, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step on how to take things apart, like a teardown video to show you how to upgrade your RAM, M.2 drive, change the battery, remove the motherboard, things like that. So I'll walk you through step-by-step. -step. If you're watching this video because you want to change the battery, uh, you want to change your RAM or upgrade your hard drive, this is the video to watch. So before you continue watching the video, please go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and hit the notification bell. Alright, so let me show you the keyboard. This is how it looks like. It has the neon green keyboard here. This one is the Intel i5, the 10th generation. Runs on the NVIDIA graphics card. And let me flip it around, show you the model number here. This is the model 16-A0045NR. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove the back cover. This is the regular Phillips screwdriver. Sorry, this is the electric screwdriver. And the screws are Phillips. So there are 8 screws total, 4 on the top, 4 at the bottom. The 4 on the top are much longer, the one, the 4 at the bottom are a lot shorter. So once you remove the uh, 8 screws, let's go ahead and pry open the back cover. I will be using this metal prying tool. Stick it in between the corner, that's the weakest point and the easiest point for you to separate the back cover. Once you have a good grip on the side of it, you can actually start separating by using your finger to push it apart. Uh, you can hear all this cracking noise, that's okay because the uh, the back cover is a clip on, so it clips on together to, uh, to install them. Alright, so at this point here, you can see the entire laptop and this is the battery. If your battery is not holding the charge, if the battery is swollen, or if you lumped on the battery, if the battery is pushing the touchpad, you can feel like the keypad, um, sorry, the, the touchpad is not uh, clickable. Uh, that means the battery is swollen. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. So this is the connector. Slide it down towards your body. So slide down, and that's how you disconnect the battery. Now for those of you who plug in the charger, you know, 24 seven, you never remove the charger, I mean the adapter, uh, you would actually prematurely kill the battery, okay? So when you're done using it, please go ahead and disconnect the charger. If not, your battery would just die very quickly. All right, so after removing the four screws, the battery would just come straight up and the model of this is PG03XL. Okay, so that is for the battery. Now this is the M.2 SSD drive. This is where you install all your windows, your games, your data, your programs. Everything is in this M.2 SSD drive. Now the hard drive, let me see what is the size on the capacity on this. Uh, this one here is 256 gigabyte, which can be very small uh, if you you know play lots lots of games. Maybe it can hold probably six games or so, and and you're cutting close to uh, using the entire capacity on this drive. So I make a separate video on how to clone the uh, M.2 over to the larger M.2. So what you need to have is you need to have this uh, M.2 USB adapter where you can install a larger M.2 drive 
and then clone this original M.2 over to this larger M.2 and then once the clone is completed you can swap the hard drive over to here now you have Windows, all your games, all your data, all your settings, everything stay the same and there you go you have a larger drive so I make a separate video for that I'll have the link in the description go ahead and click on the link and check it out alright so this is your DDR4 RAM and this DDR4 RAM has 4 gigs and probably this is the 8 gigs so this is a 12 uh, gigs total you can actually add 8 and 8 up to 16 or 16 16 up to 32 gigs of RAM and this is your CPU fan and the heat sink with the graphics card so here is probably the CPU and this is probably the graphics this is the additional slot for you to have a secondary drive so go ahead and flip the clipper open up and slide the cable to your right that's how you remove it let's go ahead and remove this So if you want to have a secondary drive, meaning that if you want to uh, have another solid state drive in here, meaning that you can install um, the 2.5 inch SSD drive. So remove the four screws, so that it comes with the screw, this is just a plastic cover. Once you remove the four screw, you can install the 2.5 inch uh, solid state drive and put it back in here, so you would have two hard drive, one C drive from this M.2 and then the secondary drive for your D drive, okay? This is your CPU fan, if your fan is dusty or your fan is not spinning correctly uh, this is how you're going to remove the fan and replace them. So let me go ahead and disconnect the LCD screen, this is a 40 pin LCD screen this is actually your, I believe, this is your DC jack connector. So go ahead and push it away from your body. And that's how you remove the connector. And this is the CPU fan connector. So lift it up. I'm using my two fingernail. And on both sides, I just lift it up. And that's how you remove it. Same thing applies for this, the left CPU fan lift it up and let's go ahead and remove the screws we need to remove this connector because this connector is has a tape that attached to the fan in order to get rid of the fan not get rid of it but to, to remove it we actually need to uh, separate this wire here now okay so once you have done that what happened is that the fan would just come straight up now they are both separate individual fans okay they're not together they're separate and you can actually replace one or both of them at the same time. Okay, so let's put that on the side. Okay, let's go ahead and explain about the Wi-Fi. So this is your Wi-Fi. It comes with the uh, a little plastic here. So this plastic here is to secure the cable from coming out. Now you can see that the cable is both of them are black let me hold on both of the cables are black what I recommend you to do is to get a little sharpie 
make a marker here so I know that this blue dots is on the right it matches the same cable and the other one has no um, marker on it uh, you do not want to mix match the uh, the cable so just put a little sharpie a little dot on it then it's easier for you to uh, understand which cable goes away afterwards alright so let's go ahead and just put the Wi-Fi cable away from you and this is the Wi-Fi uh, NIC card go ahead and remove it I believe this Wi-Fi card is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so it's two in one in this tiny little card all right so let's talk about the uh, cables here so this is for your keyboard and this is for the touchpad to remove it flip the clipper open at 90 degree angle and then slide the cable down let's go ahead and start to remove the uh, the motherboard okay so this one here is your keyboard backlighting same thing if you see the clipper this is the clipper that's secure on the key, uh, the ribbon cable. You need to open it up before you can uh, disconnect it. Okay, we have starting to remove all the screws on the motherboard. It looks like there is. I just want to make sure it's, it's able to remove you see this this cable here is still connected to this side because it draw the uh, uh, the USB data through this cable here uh, you actually need to open up the clipper slide that cable out so that you can comes up with the uh, the motherboard okay now I can see that the motherboard is ready to come off and make sure that this cable here is underneath that um, heat sink okay so there you go this is your entire motherboard and if you want to look for the motherboard replacement here this is the part it says DAG 3 JBM B 8 D 0 the version is D okay so this is how the motherboard looks like now the heatsink is pretty heavy and solid and if you experience that the computer is getting very hot and you can hear the fan always on a high speed I have a feeling that the thermal paste is dried up so what you want to do is you want to remove the screw eight of them and once you remove the screw the heat sink can come off and when the heat sink comes off you can see that there's a thermal paste on it and if those things are dry cut the alcohol wipes wipe the thermal paste off and then apply with the new thermal paste okay in this video I'm not going to show that I just explain to you in advance uh, because this computer is still quite brand new I believe that the thermal paste is still moist and it's not dried up yet okay let's put the motherboard on the side okay I'm ready to explain to you where the speaker is so this is where the speaker is let's go ahead and remove them If you have a blown speaker, if you feel like your speaker is giving you like a buzzing noise, a static noise, more likely you need a speaker replacement. Once you remove that screw, you actually need to remove the hinge, the screws that mounted onto the hinge. So let me go ahead and remove that. So three of them and there's another three on each side so once I remove all the screws I use my finger to lift the hinge up at about 90 degree angle okay once you lift it up the speaker can just come right off okay the speaker is in a set left and right if you have one blown speaker you would have to replace both of them at the same time now here I like to explain to you 
and once you have removed that the entire keyboard will just come straight out let me see if I can remove it okay so you need to flip the hinge really up about 90 degree or slightly more so that the the keyboard can slide out now here is the entire keyboard as you can see that the keyboard is not a replaceable keyboard this is all built in by the manufacturer you see all this little punch in uh, it's a it's a punch in thing you can't replace the keyboard on its own you would have to replace entire keyboard with the palm rest meaning that the 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 front cover here right and the keyboard is one big piece together this is a separate power button and as you can see the power button is clicking off of this board here so um, this is just a suggestion but it's not recommended let's just say that a keyboard is bad you spill some you know some water on it or you know whatever you spill on a keyboard you decided not to fix the keyboard the keyboard is bad what you can do is you can disconnect the cable and then connect yourself with the external keyboard right like a regular full-size keyboard you can connect it through the USB and you still can work around like that because the power button right here this power button here is controlled by this board it's not controlled by the keyboard this IO board here draws the power to power up the computer so uh, you're missing out the the keyboard but you can still use the uh, external uh, keyboard if you want all right so that is just a suggestion now once you remove this this is the entire screen with the hinge if you have a cracked screen and you want to replace it that's one way to do it or the second way to do it is just by removing the bezel and then change out the LCD okay so there's two ways to do it all right so uh, there you have it I just have done a complete uh, tear down on this video here hopefully the things that you need to repair I have touched the base in this video you can follow along and if you have question just ask me if you have any problem with this model of the computer ask me comment below I read your comment and I reply to them now if you have a DC jack problem let's say this is your DC jack and for some reason your DC jack you know get jammed and you broke a pin or you broke the adapter on this uh, you can just replace this DC jack on its own okay very straightforward and I hope you enjoyed the video uh, please click the like button and subscribe if you want uh, I really appreciate if you do that for me and uh, until next time please take care and I have more videos for you